Greetings everyone. Today we will discuss the first question which was asked by the code forces in its latest contest. Uh, the name of the question we need the all zero. So what does the question state? There, there is an array A consists of non-negative integers and you can choose an integer x which, uh, which and denotes bi is equal to bi or x for all n belonging to for all i be belonging to 1 to n where this is the bitwise or operation is it possible such that uh, such a number x that the value of the expression uh, or of bi's is equal to 0 okay so we have to find such a number such that okay so what does the basically the question is stating the question is stating that uh, let me bring my pen question is basically stating that we have to find an x such that uh, and we have we are provided an array let's say a1 a2 and a3 a4 or dot 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 let's say just for sake a4 so we need to find the x such that when we perform and uh, such that that when we perform b1 zor uh, b2 zor b3 zor b4 then it comes out to be zero right uh, that's the question and what's the uh, bi so bi is equal to uh, ai zor x right yeah it's a i or x so this is very easy and straightforward question just you have to know one property of uh, zor and that is that uh, even times zor of any number is equal to zero and odd times zor of any number is equal to uh, x let's say we have a number uh, p right and if i take the p times zor then uh, the even times zors will cancel out and only the p will remain and if i take the uh, even times p then it will be zero only right so how we can approach this question let's say our n is even right if our n is even then no matter uh, no matter what x i choose what x i choose my answer gonna be independent of x why because let's say i have even number let's say i have one two three and four and uh, I will perform it zor with lesser number x right so it will be one zor x zor this when this entire thing will be zor with what two zor x and then three zor x i get i guess you get the idea three zor x and then four zor x right as just the question is stating that we have to take all the zors of bi so the even number of x will cancel nullify each uh, other so the and the whatever the answer will be so answer will be what ai is twos or threes or four basically the zor of all the ais basically for even for even it's it's what it's the zor of uh, zor of all the ais right all the ais basically zor zor of all the elements in the array and for odd so uh, we need to find out whether it is possible to select a x such that the uh, our complete after creating complete zor of bi is it be zero or not so for even we can state that if the zor of all the elements in an array is zero then our answer will be yes and we can print out any possible number uh, which you want and if for even if the after taking zor of all the elements it's not zero it's not zero it means what the answer will not exist uh, answer will not exist right and in case of odd what will happen only one x will remain for example let's say our uh, um, n is equal to 3 and numbers are let's say 1 2 and 3 again so what i will do i will take 1s or x and uh, my answer is let's say x and 2s or x and 3s or x right and and uh, after that uh, uh, after that I will want to uh, take the zor of each element right so it will be wired like this so uh, what will the resultant equation will look like something like 1 zor 2 zor 3 zor x right so I just need to calculate this one right and I will take the same value as x so I will take my x as 1 zor 2 zor 3 because as I just explained that the x zor x is equal to 0 so for odd for odd my answer will be what my answer will be zor of ais all the ais belongs to my uh, array a right zor of all the ais belongs to my array a basically my array 
so that's what that was all about solution let me show you the code uh, the code was pretty much straightforward as i just uh, uh, mentioned that it's a very easy question let me show you the code yeah so i i have just taken the input here this this all was the input part right and as i have just mentioned if my uh, and i have uh, by uh, taking input and simul uh, at same time i have just stored the zor of all the elements in an answer variable basically answer is equal to ai is uh, a1 zor a2 zor a3 zor whatever the number of elements basically this is the answer so if it is even and my answer is zero then the uh, my answer will be possible and that number will be zero and if the answer is not zero it means what minus 1 and in case of odd in case of odd i have just to take the zor of all the elements and that will be the my x such that that x zor all the elements will be zero so this was all about the first question hope you uh, understand the question if you have any doubts uh, then feel free to ask in the comment section thank you and have a nice coding journey